YouTube, this is Swiggy Shark, but before I unbox this December loot crate, I just want to wish everybody a Happy New Year. It's going to be 2016 in about three and a half hours for me. Um, I hope you've all had an amazing 2016, or 2015, I hope you all have a phenomenal 2016. I don't know if I just said 2016 twice again, but um, amazing 2015, but phenomenal 2016. Um, hope you've all had a good Christmas. Sorry I haven't really posted lately. I'm gonna try to post four to five videos every week from now on. But anyway, enough talking. Let's get started on unboxing this loot crate. Um, I just gotta pull open the tape from here, but if I do it on camera, then it's gonna show my address and stuff, and I don't want that to happen, so yeah. Sorry about that. Anyway, I think this might work. Will it work? That's the question. Oh, hype! Oh, look at this. Look at this, guys. This is sick. Oh my god. Look at this thing. You can't really see it that well, but it's a shirt and it's awesome. It's a little um, pixelated Christmas, I guess. So that's awesome. I like that. And I knew this was coming. A um, Star Wars lunchbox. And also an a Halo 5 um, supply rec pack. I actually got Halo 5, so that's pretty awesome. Um, code is on the back. Alright, cool. So, it's pretty awesome. Um, we'll start streaming Halo 5 um, pretty soon. This is actually a Halo lunchbox, not Star Wars. I think the video I watched was a Star Wars one, so that's why I said Star Wars. But this is pretty awesome. Um, and this is where I think most of the loot crate will be. Um, right off the bat, we've got... Let's move the loot crate itself out of the way a little bit. And launch box. A Star Wars Han Solo um, pop figure. It's a Loot Crate exclusive. That is pretty awesome. Um, could have gotten Princess Leia, Admiral Ackbar, um, Nien, Nub, Sidon, Athano, and Varmic. I don't know if all of those are from Star Wars. I don't know that much about Star Wars. Played the Lego games. That's all I pretty much know for the series. And watched like the first movie. Darth Maul is... Uh, I like Darth Maul. I don't know why. Ooh, Star Wars socks. Definitely gonna be wearing those. Also a Loot Crate exclusive. That's pretty cool. Has R2-D2 on them. And probably something else I can't see. I think, th I, think I see the Millennium Falcon with the Death Star right now. Right there. I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What else we got? Um... Galaxy Quest emblem patch. Ooh, it's a patch. I used to do karate, so it'd be funny if I put that on my um uniform. I wouldn't, but you know. This document certifies this prop replica of the Galaxy Quest emblem patch was created by Quantum Mechanics Inc. under license from Paramount Pictures exclusively for Loot Crate. I didn't have to read that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So I guess that's replacing the um normal pin, but this is always going to say. Try to get my thumb out of the way. Loot crate, December twenty fifteen Galaxy. That is really cool. This emblem. I don't know what that is. Um. Yeah, I have no idea. Uh, anyway, yeah. I really like this Halo lunchbox though. It's pretty cool. I don't know if I'd ever use it, but cool to have. 
little collector's item. Let's see if I can close it. That's 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 the real question. Yep, I can. I feel accomplished. Alright. And of course the little magazine. Should I turn my I'm gonna turn my lamp on and see if it makes it any better. Tiny bit. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I like that design. And that just fell. Alright. Alright, so that's pretty cool. Um, some of the pictures, um, loot anime apparently exists now, anime and manga gear, Man manga, I don't know how you even pronounce it, get ready for pop culture to be pet, oh my god, uh, loot crates turn into a lot of different things now. And they did a year in review. That's pretty cool. And this probably extends for two or three pages. I don't know if you want to take a look at that or something. Wait, I want to see what's in... Yeah, I'll, I'll do that in my own time. And of course, they pick the... um. Vault Boy Bobblehead is my favorite one. So did I. Favorite thing in the Loot Crate. Um, I actually like the Spork the best in the October Loot Crate, but everything else I like the best. I love my Carnage Bug. Carnage is freaking awesome. Um... <coughs> Um, one lucky winner gets the Mega Crate worth almost $5,000. Um, the NVIDIA package includes Tandem Skydiving Experience with Jeff Provenzano. Um, don't know who that is. Um, Shield Game Controller, Shield Remote, NVIDIA Shield Android TV with Stand. Wow. One year subscription to GeForce Now, one year subscription to Netflix and 4K Ultra. Wow. Insane. Oh, the Mega Crate also contains um, Luke Skywalker Red 5X Wing Pilot 1/6 um, scale figure from Sideshow Collectibles, and large tech dop kit, a handmade genuine leather kit from This Is Ground, and then the Mini Mega Crate. And then you got interview with Drew Wise. I don't know who that is. Q&A with Chris Lee, which is the executive producer of Halo 5. And this month's loot, um, the awesome pin, the exclusive Star Wars hand solo vinyl pop, um, bobblehead, so we've only, so we were actually only able to get, um, hand solo, not any other ones. Um, this is the whole thing. Yeah, I could tell this is a ugly sweater. Right from the bat. It just looked cool though. Yeah, so that's it. And then these are the socks in full length. And the badge as well. And of course the lunchbox and the um rec pack. I haven't I actually haven't played Halo 5 yet. And they, they love us. Yeah. It's pretty cool background. Um, I actually haven't paid, played Halo 5 yet. I've only played um, Rare Replay and I've played Banjo-Kazooie on that and um, Star Wars Battlefront. 
I would have posted some stuff on YouTube about it. It's just I can't film in my room because that's where my Xbox One is. Um, yeah, guys, um, thank you so much for watching this Loot Crate unboxing. I did enjoy this Loot Crate. I actually really like it. Um, please um, smack that like and subscribe button to the sea floor. Um, don't forget to check out my Twitch channel where I'm actually filming that Battlefront in Banjo-Kazooie gameplay. I just did a two and a half hour stream of Banjo-Kazooie. Um, so follow that. It's the same name as my YouTube channel, Swiggy Shark. Um, have a link in the description. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a phenomenal 2016. And can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye. This is Swiggy Shark diving out.